Welcome back to Across Louisiana. You know, Baton Rouge is a town that loves its sports, and it has a very vibrant and active tennis community. And one of their favorite events that's coming up now is the Highland Open Tennis Tournament. And here to give us a scoop on that is Lisa Sanner. Welcome to the show, Lisa. Hi. This is such a great community event, um, has such a great history. Tell the folks a little bit about the association and about the Highland Open. Well, the Highland Open is the longest running annual charity tennis tournament in Louisiana, maybe in the whole South. This is our 32nd annual charity tennis tournament. And this is the fifth year, excuse me, the sixth year that it's going to benefit the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. Uh, definitely a, a great place for the community to come together. It's a, a lot of fun and a great time and it's mm -hmm. for a great cause. Tell me a little bit more about your association with Cystic Fibrosis. Our title sponsor, Jim Crane, has he lost a baby daughter to cystic fibrosis and now he has a grown son who's now happily married and a new father and a lot of that is because of the research funded by the cystic fibrosis foundation so we're real proud to be part of that effort to find a cure for cystic fibrosis uh, talk to me a little bit about the the format of the tournament how's it set up it's going to be men's doubles and women's doubles so that's teams of two women or two men and it's for beginning to advanced um, playing ability. Uh, I've, I've been lucky enough to play in that before. I know what a, what a blast it is, and there's a, there's a great level of competition and camaraderie there. I mean, talk to me a little bit about the spirit of this event. It's really a, a really wholesome and, and fun event, isn't it? Yes, it's a wholesome, fun event. The players have a great time. We have food and beverage all week, um, excuse me, all weekend. Um, the players get goodie bags. And, some of, and um, the winners get special awards. And it all takes place at one site, which is really nice. And Absolutely. the Cortana Kiwanis Club provides us jambalaya, and, another, and the downtown provides hamburgers. So you can play tennis, you can eat, you can hang out with your friends, and you can support Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. So if you're somebody that's out in the community and you want to support this great cause, but let's say, for example, maybe you're not a tennis player, mm -hmm. there's lots of other ways for those folks to get involved, isn't there? Oh, definitely. We really appreciate the support of sponsors and donors as well as the players. And the sponsors and donors can get information from our website, which is www.hpta.org. Obviously, it has a rich history, but I think maybe most folks might not realize what a huge impact this has. I mean, you've been able to raise a tremendous amount of money. Tell me a little bit about that. We've raised $100,000 over the past five years for the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation. And we've also raised money for lots of other previous charities. I know you have the, the system of the roses. I always find oh, that I interesting. Explain to the folks a little bit about how that works. We have our 65 Roses campaign, and children with cystic fibrosis sometimes call their disease 65 Roses. So we have a campaign to get 65 Rose sponsorships. Um, a Rose sponsorship is $100. That money goes directly to cystic fibrosis. So it can be from one person. It could be from a group of tennis players, friends, co-workers. And uh, every year our goal has been to get 65 Rose sponsorships. And I'm proud to say that over the past four years, we've always surpassed that goal, getting from 72 Rose sponsorships to up to 86 Rose sponsorships. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how, how has it been for you to be involved with this? I'm, I imagine it must be very rewarding. It is very rewarding. We have a special connection with our sponsor, Jim Crane, and a special connection with his family. I have a really great, great team of people who work with me. Year after year after year, they are dedicated to providing a great tournament for a great cause. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for coming on and telling us all about it. Well, thank you for having me. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Across Louisiana. Have a great weekend, everybody.